Hi, it's Mike Creepy, and I'm very excited to do today's show because I have a very uh, unique person, very great individual, uh, somebody, somebody that really loves the Lord and follows God. And I'm excited to uh, do an interview with Arthur Asaturian. Sorry. Arthur, thank you for you know accepting my request. I'm excited to have a great conversation with you, and I'm sure your knowledge, your words, it's going to inspire a lot of people. So thank you for thank putting you. your thanks, time. Thanks for having me. I, yeah. This is exciting. So, yeah. so um, I know a little bit uh, your background and I'm sure some of the people who watch, they already know you, but some people might you know, get to know you first time. A uh, little bit introduce yourself. I know um, you lead a lot of people, especially young generation. Yeah. Uh, and I respect your work. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so um, I've been pastoring for mm -hmm. full time eight years now. Eight years, okay. So coming towards the end of that, and I don't know what the future is going to look like pastor wise, but um, so same church. I've been at the same church for eight years at Glenlow. COA Church. COA Church, yeah. yeah. Um, and so I've been taking care of, I started taking care of the youth, and then we have a congregation that developed out of that, which is an English speaking congregation. Uh -huh. And so I've been pastoring that, which is essentially turning into its own church. Yeah. You know our church model. Now we have three different congregations. Uh -huh. You know, one in Glendale, one in Shadow Hills, yes. and the English one in Glendale as well. So I've been doing that. Um, educationally, I have a bachelor's degree in biblical studies, minor in education. That's that's um, yeah. It's not easy to. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> I'll tell you yeah. that it's fun. Okay. And then uh, my master's degree is in philosophy. Nice. Uh, so uh, I would say a passion of mine is to help people understand what it is that we believe as Christians mm -hmm. and uh, what we believe and why we believe it and then use that as a tool to help others hopefully, prayerfully, come to know the Lord. Uh, so we call that apologetics which is given a defense for the Christian faith and so yeah, so we're coming to That's the end awesome. of our pastorhood. We're going to move to Armenia <laughs> in Are you February. excited about that? February, yeah, yeah. I, I really am. Uh, I was born in Armenia, I came to the States when I was 11. So, you know, so one thing I, I do want to add, sometimes, you know, changing countries, uh, sometimes people get scared, but I believe if you truly know what God has for you, you go with the confidence and, and I think this should be encouraging to a lot of people, wherever you are, I think it's the best thing to seek uh, what's the God's will is. Yeah. And whatever you are at that moment, serve him the best way. If doors opens up for future to go here or to stay where you at, doesn't matter. You know. So yeah. I mean, right. When you look at the Bible, God is the God of the the universe. Yes. And he owns <laughs> everything Every, on earth. So, yeah. um, I mean, if you asked me two years ago, I'd be moving to Armenia right now. I would have told you, would be, no, no yeah. way that was happening. I mean, when I was asked to move there about a year and a half ago, I said, no, it's not happening. Because yeah. I didn't have any intentions. But as, as uh, I prayed, my wife prayed, and we spoke and discussed it. We felt that that's yeah. the direction God's leading us um, in. And so, yeah. so we're, we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> now, Arthur, I, I did have a couple of topic conversations with you. We are ending 2018. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, I think it was a great year. And uh, I believe that no matter what happened throughout the year, if, if you stay thankful, you have a thankful heart to God, it's gonna, God gonna bless you more. So, uh, one of the things that I learned at the end of each year, I look back and I kind of study how I live God's directions, how much I follow, what I fell short, what I did good or wrong. What would you advise to people that how they should shift it's a new year. I think the way we think has a lot to do. The more we align to what God teaches us and we apply it, it's going to have a big, big impact in our lives. I mean, yeah. what, what, what are you seeing in young generations and oh. what would you advise them? Um, because there's a lot of distractions nowadays, you know, internet, all this. It always keeps you, you know, distracted. Well, yeah, a number of those things are good things. Uh, I had a professor who said technology is... Um, is a lousy master but a great tool. Yeah, it's okay. how you use it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's dependent on the person. Yeah. Um, I think one of the things that I've, I've noticed in young people is that the, the people quit easily. The younger generation quits easily. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's at their jobs, whether it's in their marriages, whatever it may be, there's a, like if it's, like if it's difficult, yeah, if it's difficult, they'll give up. They'll say, it's not for me, they'll do something else. Mm -hmm. 
And I think it's very important to know, and this, this is not just for young people, by the way, yeah. this is for all of us, um, that we stay consistent. Consistency, uh, individuals who've been successful, historically, have been consistent individuals. They've been consistent in their character, mm -hmm. which is extremely important. So their work ethic, whatever yeah. it is. Now, I've seen a number of things you do. It's yeah. like, you're all about like waking up on time, you know, yeah. whatever that may be, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah. I'm depend we have different kind of existences and lives. Yeah. Yeah. But there needs to be a consistency. Um, Discipline, and, right? Yeah, so, and listen, as a Christian, you know, discipleship, disciples, disciplined ones. Mm -hmm. This idea that we need discipline in our lives is actually a good thing. Yeah. Uh, discipline is not something that should be pushed away, but kind of accepted. Yeah. It's tough. It's pushing. We all, we don't really like it naturally, yeah. but that's okay. We don't have to like it for it to be good for us. <laughs> so. yeah. You know, talking about quitting, uh, I always tell you never uh, 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 fail as long as you don't quit. Mm. You can't fail, but if you don't quit, you're still going to win. Sure. And, and um, there was a license that I took in, in, in this industry. I failed 20 times. Mm. And some people, you know, when they hear, some of them laugh, but I said, end of the day, I won. And I think that's how you should take every area of your life. That was a very good point. I like it. Well, I think that's the difference, right? You get people who have a short-term vision of things and then people who have a long-term yeah. vision. Yeah. If you look at it in the short term, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, you could look at something as a failure, right? But if you look at it in the long term, mm -hmm. uh, then it's like, oh, wow, there's actually good success and stuff like that. So, I think it's very important uh, to be consistent yeah. And, yeah. and kind of to consistently grow. Yeah. I actually am very weary of individuals who are like roller coasters, up and down all the time. Stuff like that. I get very, yeah, I get very kind of, uh, I don't know about that, like people in their character who are like that. But when you get someone who, who has kind of a rise and then, you know, yeah. a slight, you know, downward trajectory, but when you measure it out in the long they're term, staying. they're actually, it's yeah, going, going up. up. Yeah. And that happens with spirituality, character, whatever you want to put it in yeah, there. Yeah. I think that's true if if you're actually doing what you're supposed to be doing and consistent in that, it's going to be well, unless there's some forces outside of you yeah. beyond our control that kind of whatever destroy you. Know, yeah. The whole market crashes or something, yeah. yeah. So that's beyond you. Yeah. But if everything's functioning kind of well and normal, you're going to be okay, I think. Yeah. I'm preparing an episode that soon I'm going to post and going to talk about how to plan your next year like I mentioned earlier since it's end of the year <clears throat> I love uh, encouraging people that there's so much they have in them and I'm always trying to help people to max out their potential and um, a lot of people are gonna watch this video if somebody wants to grow whether it's in their faith in their family but they somehow got stuck. What would you, you know, encourage them? What would you tell them? So they're stuck at. Uh, maybe they, they, maybe they try a few times, they fail, and they, they, they maybe they don't believe in that sure. things can happen. I mean, we as Christian, Bible taught so much about the power of belief. So how how can we apply that in our life and really make it reality? Yeah. So I guess I would. Do step aside from the whole belief aspect. I think it's very important to have the right kind of mentality. Okay. Right? Um, a realistic mentality. Okay. Like if I believe I can fly, I'm not going to fly because yeah. it's not realistic. That's not realistic. Right? Okay. Uh, but if I believe I can get a certain job and I work hard at it, mm -hmm. that's probably going to happen. So I think that's important. I would say, um, and this comes from like my pastoral ministry experience. Do you used to think like that? Or it took years to... to to that point. No, it's definitely taken taken years to develop that. What I would say is I had individuals around me. So I had you. Yes. Yeah. So I think friends, um, like co-laborers, you could say, mentors are I extremely have this saying, important. You are product of your environment. And it's very true. Yeah, more or less you are. Because, and right, as Christians, like what is the, what does church mean? I mean, it's not a building. Yeah. It means family, yeah. right? The, the yeah. idea is that you're yeah. there as a family. I mean, even look at Jesus with his disciples. Yeah. He's got a group of people he's teaching together. They're learning from each other's mistakes and he's commenting on their mistakes. He's mentoring them. Yeah. Um, and so I would say, you're not alone. If you're stuck, find someone who's done it. And then get, get some advice. Like, hey, how do I do this, you know? Um, I've been wanting to write, like, whether it's blogs or, or I would like to write books in the future. 
Um, the other day, uh, someone who's done that yeah. <laughs> on my Facebook post posted just like, you know, a number of things that, that have worked for him. Okay. And um, he said, basically it was like, you can write a book in a year uh -huh. if you do these things. Uh -huh. And I was like, wow, that's, you know, yeah, I, I don't do a number of those things. That's really good. I just simply took a screenshot of it and saved it in my photos. Um, I don't have the time and effort to put on it now, but I'm planning on the future. And I want to implement those things. So I'm learning from other people. So it's important to have mentors, whether it's at a job or in a church setting. Like if you want to grow in your faith, if you want to read your Bible more consistently, Go find, find someone who it. already reads their Bible consistently yeah, yeah. and ask them, what do you do? What are the tips they can yeah. and, and, and learn from them. Even if you need to meet with them to, to start that process. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes you need people to pull you. Yeah. And, and then you. So that's what I would say. Find individuals around you. And they're already there. Yeah. And, I, and I, I want to take the there. opportunity, those of you who are watching, we, we're live. Any, any questions you have, just put it out there. We'll answer it. You want to get hold of Arthur? He's tagged on this video, you know, uh, message him. We're here to help. Uh, and that, that's a great point. I think just like in the Bible, it says, if you ask, you'll receive. I think, I think that you should apply that principle in all areas of your life. So, Absolutely. good points, good points, yeah. Anything else you want to say uh, for uh, closing the year? How was your year overall? Are you happy? Oh, man. Thankful? <laughs> I gotta like I haven't uh, replayed it yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely thankful. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, we had a kid this year, so nice. Third that's the number yeah. three, uh, and uh, so that's been, <laughs> you know, you get uh, one to two is is something, <laughs> uh, two to three is something yeah, yeah. else, right? It's uh, we you don't have enough hands for it because yeah. two kids you can go here's one, here's one, three, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're struggling. So it's, it's, it's been brilliant. I mean, we obviously made the decision to move to Armenia, so we're in the, yeah. we're in the midst of that. It's really been a, a year of transition for me. Mm -hmm. um, I would say it's, uh, you know, God's taken us into areas that uh, I've wanted to pursue, mm -hmm. uh, but haven't for various reasons. Now, it wasn't the, sometimes, sometimes it's just the time. Mm -hmm. it, I, I would say it wasn't the right time. Maybe I wasn't prepared enough, I don't know. I don't have God's mind, but the opportunities weren't there. Um, and so it's exciting. It's, it's really exciting to, to see what God's going to do in the next, uh, in the upcoming years um, and, and learning from others. So it's, it's definitely been, been a really cool year. Do you want to share with the viewers what projects you have in Armenia? Maybe they can join you there. Some of oh. you are going to watch in Armenia. Oh, oh yeah. Armenia. <laughs> yeah. If, uh, if, I, I guess I would say if they want to learn um, how to defend our Christian worldview. That's what I'm going to be doing. The main project is training people mm -hmm. in small groups, I would say. It's not like we're not starting a school or something like that. Just friends getting together yeah. and saying, here's something I have, here's something I can give. That's the bottom line. Yeah. And so we want to train people to defend their, their Christian worldview. Nice. Uh, know what they believe in, why they believe it, and then be good representatives of Christ uh, in their communities. Um, we're going to be working on translating things into Armenian. I'm not going to be doing the translating work, but I'm yeah. doing the networking work. Is there a website? You know, I mean, I'm going to um, put the links, but you know, th there is a website. It's not up and running yet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but keep me posted. So, so yeah. Yeah. De it. Definitely. Uh, once we work on that, but the literature that we're going to be translating is actually going to be completely free and downloadable on this website. Nice. Okay. So if someone's like, it's "Hey," it's going to be in English and Armenian. It's just going to actually the or it's just going to be the Armenian portion okay. of it. Yeah, the, the English stuff is already out there. We might put like links that yeah, accompany the Armenians just that. in case. But we want to make it in Armenian for people to either read it on their you know, phones, iPads, or download it and then read it later. Yeah. And then it's going to be a growing library. Yeah, nice. So it's not just like one thing. So we'll start with how many ever we have and then, and then grow that. Awesome. Uh, so I, I like that because we don't have a lot of theological content in Armenian, mm -hmm. right? We have some, but not yeah. a lot. And we want to produce that. And then also there'll be translations of certain books in Got Armenian it. as well. So that will impact people here too in America, not well, just Armenia. I'm looking forward to maybe our next interview if you know we catch each other in Armenia. We can do one there. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's exciting. I'm very happy that we, we had this little talk. Uh, some of you who guys saw this, whatever ideas that Arthur shared, apply it in your life. and. 
thank you for your time, no Arthur. That's very uh, happy to have you here. And as a encouraging words, I personally, and if you have some words, you can tell the viewers also. <clears throat> uh, many years from now, uh, every year, month of December, I sat down with myself alone. I had a talk with God. I prayed and I break down my life into four chapters mm. and I put the goals I heard this saying and I believe in it it says God has a plan for you but he's not gonna he's not gonna plan it for you mm. okay I think we have to pray put our plans together and if something is God's will he'll show you the directions what to do if it's not he'll show you you know what just stop it and you know turn around but I do believe every single individual has to break down their life and personally what I do are four areas I sit down and write down my goals for my faith for the following year how much I want to grow in my faith I put goals for my family how much I want to grow in my family life I also do the same thing in my finances and also in my fitness the reason why because those are four main areas that it's very important we all to improve live a balanced life so I encourage every single one of you to work on those stuff yeah. I would say uh, um, if you're not in the habit of journaling uh -huh. right I would say journal mm -hmm. and if, if you're if you're a follower of Jesus and you have a daily devotional life and you pray and you read your Bible I would say keep a track of things yeah uh, even write down your prayers we don't have a habit of writing our prayers down nowadays this is a practice that people were doing two, three hundred years ago. We can read their prayers, and they're man, I, yeah. it's amazing to read yeah. Uh, yeah. the prayers. I've written a number of my prayers. It, it, this is why it's good because whether it's at the end of the year or five years down the line or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you will have times where your faith is challenged, where you your life is challenged, and, and you go back and you look and you say, "Oh wow, here's God being consistent and faithful to me." Mm -hmm. Right? Here's things I prayed for, and God came through and answered. Now He's not going to answer every single one of the things because yeah. there's things He doesn't yeah, want yeah, for yeah. you. <laughs> We think we want yeah, it, but yeah. he doesn't want it. Yeah. But to, when you see it in front of you, it's different than when it's just memory. Because memory is um, it's tricky. Yeah. Uh, but when you can actually see it on paper and say, wow. I mean, you can even go back and say, here's when he answered it, yeah. this is how he answered it. So I would say, get into the habit of journaling yeah. if you're not. Yeah. If you're not a Christian, journal. It's yeah. good for you. It's, yeah. a, it's a healthy habit to have in life. Sounds good. Arthur, oh, thank, thank you. you again. Thanks. Thank you, guys. God bless you all. And... We'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.